the chicken sandwich is back, but you all still don't know how to act. And what about those protesters over there who say he's crossed the line? Man, fuck them literal ass uppity niggas. All they talk about is reading and eating right. Chicken sandwich is back, but you all still don't know how to act. And let's be real. The food is not good for us. The food literally causes cancer, diabetes, high cholesterol, heart disease, stroke, heart attack, clogged arteries, and just death. The food is literally death. These celebrities got on social media and told you all to support Popeye's chicken because if you support Popeye's chicken in Atlanta, you are supporting black business I have a few questions is black business good if it kills black people is black business good if it kills black people as many as one in three Americans eats fast food at least once a day and most of those fast food meals include fried foods research has linked higher consumption of fried foods to type 2 diabetes and heart problems but studies also show eating fried foods every day could shorten your life. The chicken sandwich is back, but you all still don't know how to act. As I've said before, 8% of fast food restaurants are owned by black people. 8%. That means you have a 92% chance of eating at a fast food restaurant that is not owned by a black person. These are the facts, not the emotional rants about how good the sandwich is. These are the facts. Am I telling you all not to support Popeyes? No. Am I telling you all not to eat the chicken sandwich? No. What I'm simply saying is the chicken sandwich is back and you all don't know how to act. <laughs> I believe if we're going to support black business, we need to support black business that supports black people. That is black people, not only financially, but also black people's health and well-being. Get the carrot away from me. Do you all want to know what they put in chicken? Do you all honestly want to know what they put in chicken before it's fried? The chicken basically gets breast augmentation by done by just going to China. They get pumped full of liquid, engorging the breast for an even larger size, and then shipped back to the US for us to eat. In fact, they also do this with shrimp as well. Again, anything to make more money. Also, chicken is cancer causing. Now, some of the other things chickens are filled with, which the FDA has admitted to, is arsenic a highly poisonous chemical that's actually four times more toxic than mercury. Now, arsenic is given to the chicken uh, because it causes quicker weight gain and less feeding, right? And it also enhances the pink coloring in the raw meat. So now you know why it only takes three months instead of 12 months to have a chicken that has over three times the breast size and double the weight at an even lower price. What we don't understand is that the profit margin for many of these fast food restaurants is black people. I'll say it again. The profit margin that these fast food restaurants see is made up by the spending of black people. If black people don't buy fast foods, they don't make any money. So decades later, 
the fast food industry has been uh, seen in a severe decline has seen a severe decline in popularity in the United States, but black customers remain as important to the industry's bottom line as ever before. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, from 2013 to 2014, African Americans over the age of two derived 20% of their food energy from fast food. That's compared to 15% for whites and 16% for Hispanics. Many experts associate the enduring appeal of fast food to African Americans, especially those living in inner cities, with food deserts. I don't think you all heard me. The profit margarine. Ah, one taste of country crock and she melts like butter. <laughs> Shed spread country crock, fewer calories than regular margarine and no cholesterol. Enjoy the rich, buttery taste of country crock. I don't know what that is, but it's like glued right to my spoon. So apparently it doesn't matter what kind of pan that you use. Um, the country crock has made out of something. Maybe it's that petroleum that we hear about. I don't know. It's killing us. Am I telling you all not to eat Popeye chicken sandwiches? No. Am I telling you all not to support a black owned fast food restaurant? No, I'm simply saying that the chicken sandwich is back and we don't know how to act. If I wanna get high blood pressure, then damn it, that's my business. So if we're gonna support these fast food restaurants that give us food that literally kills us, then I think we can support black owned businesses that give us things to help us. Black owned and promoting good health. I'm not promoting the chicken sandwich. Black owned and promoting good health. I'm not promoting the chicken sandwich. Things that help us live a healthier life. Products that support the God gene that we've been blessed with. You all assured me that it was just a chicken sandwich. You all assured me that it was no different than a leg, wing, breast or thigh. But what we find out is that was a lie. Joshua Robichaux is charged with one count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Police say he pulled out a weapon and demanded a chicken sandwich after an employee told them they were out of them. It happened at the restaurant on Scott and Quarter Streets near Houston's South Side back on September 3rd. Robichaux's bond was set at $60,000. You see the chicken sandwich is back but we still don't know how to act. That's right, take a seat. That's what you're famous for anyway. You see, it's never just as simple as black people wanting a chicken sandwich. There's always a deeper reason to why we do things. It's never just black people want a chicken sandwich. It's deeper. Everything we do stems from systemic trauma. Other Popeyes sold out of the new fried chicken sandwich. This is my first time, you know, thinking like, yeah, I don't want to try the chicken sandwich, you know, but they don't have it. God, so that's gonna be really frustrating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially I have twins, so it's double. <laughs> Double the frustration right now. You in there? <laughs> no, in here. Oh, stop. <laughs> Man, I've seen this long line. Edward Scott said no way despite the allure. Must be crack in this, in this chicken sandwich. It's got to be crazy to wait in a line like this. Is it worth it? Yeah, it is. Here in Milwaukee, it's all been positive reviews. It's good. <laughs> That's it? It's, it's good. good. Take a bite. Mmm. It's amazing. I would say this definitely beats all of the other places. Really? This sandwich is excellent. A hype so big, we just had to give it a try ourselves. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm. If you're just joining us, tensions are rising at the R. Kelly trial, and Rosa Parks has just been hit by a piece of chicken. No confirmation yet whether it was fried or barbecued. Let's talk to another R. Kelly supporter. I said the chicken sandwich is back, and black people still don't know how to act. What we have since been able to determine through our investigation, our homicide detectives are hard at work on this one, 
but we have been able to determine um, that uh, preliminarily that this is related to the release of the uh, the sandwich here at this restaurant that uh, this individual was in line a line specifically for the sale of the sandwich when uh, another customer um, and he um, got into an altercation and um, that ended with the victim being stabbed outside of the business. Wait for Free Blanche. Good money.